Hello everyone, Prof. Mike Green here. Uh, this is a quick video on how to follow along with any kind of YouTube tutorial or um, or something you're reading on a web page and kind of code alongside it. So what I recommend doing uh, is kind of two options I'll walk through. So the first of which is I've got the, um, the Free Code Camp JavaScript video here and I can open up a new tab and go to Glitch and I will create my new Hello Web Page project. And after that, get done uh, creating. I've got my normal files here. I can click Show Live. That'll open a tab. This tab, the Live tab, is the one that you want to open up the browser console. So in Chrome, let me put that uh, below here. So in Chrome, I can right-click and inspect. You can also get to it in the um, there it is under View Developer JavaScript Console, and I'll go to the console. And so now you can see here it says Hi, and that's because the JavaScript file over here in the editor simply outputs Hi. So now I could have so if I have a small screen on my laptop you know I could go back and forth I could have the video playing and then I could pause the video come over here to this tab write a little code var uh, boolean equals false console.log boo and then come over here to this tab It'll automatically refresh. See, oh, good, it output my false there. And I could go back and forth. I could do the three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, if you have a widescreen monitor, you could separate these things out. So you could have you know, this playing maybe in one corner and then have your editor real big and then maybe your console down here in this corner something like this the great thing about playing around with JavaScript is you don't actually need you don't need that page at all so we could have the console be as big as as you want um, although it doesn't like getting bigger for me there so there's a little option here these little triple dots you can actually move it around. You can undock it to a whole separate window if you wanted to. Um, make that as, as big as you want. That, that's a handy trick as well. So now if I say if I make boo true, it saves. You can see it auto refreshes here in my console um, there. Uh, another option would be to have two browsers. So if you have Chrome and Firefox, you could have um, like this is especially helpful if you don't have a big widescreen monitor. So let's pretend I don't. Put this video back up here, close this out. And let's say I don't have a big widescreen monitor. So I have my video up here. This is a really handy keyboard shortcut, Alt Tab or Command Tab if you're on a Mac. And we could have a Firefox be my editor. So let me bring this back. So let's. Just rearrange all these. So now here I am with a hello web page. This is actually from Project Zero. It's the same concept. And then I can use that Alt tab or Command tab keyboard shortcut. I'm on a Mac, so it brings up something that looks like this. There's a similar um, kind of interface it brings up on a PC. And you can just, you know, Alt tab and switch between the two. And that's a handy way to kind of go back and forth if you don't have a, uh, a, a widescreen monitor. 